A YouTuber named Rata Negra Mago is positive that his house is haunted, and he claims to have the evidence to back it up. The kid's toy moves across the table and I don't see a string. Then a bottle falls off the table. There are no shadows coming from the other room when it happens. No one is around. And right before it happens, this strange traveling light appears. Hmm, looks paranormal to me. Four days later, he catches this object moving all by itself. This one I find a little harder to believe because I feel like it's definitely in their grandma's line of sight. I mean, how could you miss a bright green reflective bag doing 360s for almost a full minute is beyond me. She must have been fully absorbed in her show. I have my doubts about this one, but at the same time I don't know how they're doing it so maybe it's real. This final video taken almost a year later is perhaps the oddest of all. This hanging ornament begins moving in place with nothing to help get it started. Yes, it's by an open window but there's no wind. The leaves on this plant don't move and neither does this towel hanging over a chair. And it's not the air conditioner either because this connected red string doesn't move at all. And if you're still not convinced, take a listen. At 1 minute and 20 seconds, this phantom light reflects across the stereo glass. Though to be fair, it could just be a member of the family. This video posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Exploring with Eric is another random Randonautica adventure. Only this adventure took its victims somewhere that no one would choose to end up. The abandoned site of a witch's ritual. Eric writes, Myself and Veronica unexpectedly found a ritual site and it was beyond disturbing. Directed by the app into the middle of nowhere at night, the pair wander through the wilderness to the random destination set out for them and arrive at an old rocky structure that looks like it's been around for a good while. The abandoned site is littered with recognizable graffiti alongside symbols that aren't so recognizable. Although the place appears to have been frequented by others, Others. These others may not have all been innocent random randonauticers or taggers, but rather more nefarious individuals. After exploring an enormous empty tank outside, they head inside the stone structure. This is where things get freaky. Inside is a bizarre and creepy sight. Encircled by a red ring with votive candles surrounding it, they discover a piece of paper scrunched up on the floor. As they attempt to unfurl it to see what's written, they keep hearing things. Veronica says it sounds like someone laughing. They decide to leave, but they take the paper with them. Once in the car, they open it and find the message is written in Spanish. According to YouTuber Luisa Gutierrez, it reads in English, It's a trap. My spirit Marlene here. Please say my name three times. There also appears to be a date at the end. What does it all mean? Eric and Veronica may have just cursed themselves. Joe Rob TV sees something on the side of the road that's so creepy. He isn't even sure if he was imagining it or not, so he has to take a second look. This time he has his camera ready to record. What the f Oh, what the f Oh, what the f the strange person slowly approaches with their hands in their pockets, almost like they've been expecting him, and Joe Rob quickly speeds off. It's hard to tell if they are wearing a Halloween mask or if their facial features are really that oversized and distorted in real life. If they are wearing a mask, it must extend under the shirt because I can't see where the mask ends and their neckline begins. The news is pretty boring until something totally unexpected like this happens, and you'll never guess what it is. Two anchors are having a chat when their background gets bizarre. Well, it, it was really nice. I've been very lucky because I was looked after by a, a fantastic medical team, fantastic consultants and nurses. Ordinarily, I would say this is two different shots edited together. However, the crowd seems to stay the same as the man disappears. At 4 seconds, you can see the individual is crossing from left to right. They come out from the column soon after the man disappears, which indicates this was all one continuous take. Siblings sing happy birthday to the camera for someone who lives far away. Mama. <laughs> 
when they finish, one of them says something at 19 seconds that sounds like she might say mama. I don't know what she said, but mentioning her mother drops the mirror straight to the floor. And look, a pale apparition caught on camera in the reflection of the mirror before it happens. This video is probably edited, but if not, it looks like a paranormal entity has a problem with this family, or at least the mom. Some folks are good narrators getting carried away by their own storytelling. This one should have noticed how true her story was. This video was originally posted to TikTok by Briar May. In the video, Briar is telling a creepy story while sitting on her bed. As she describes how her stepsister used to wait under her bed and grab her ankles, the camera pans back to capture her bedroom door slamming closed at the most inopportune moment, heightening the fear of the horror story. But don't be distracted by the sound. Look under the bed. Her room is not empty after all. Is that Briar's stepsister? Or are her ankles about to be grabbed by the true blue monster under the bed? This is a horror story come to life. I just hope everybody was alright. YouTuber Gregor Wilk braves one of the most haunted places in Wisconsin in this spooky video. One of the most interesting finds he has there is this strange orb flickering in the darkness. Watch closely. In another shot, he captures a ghostly apparition. Watch to the left amongst the trees. Here's a closer look. Some in the comments say they've had a similar experience at Sanitarium Hill. Well, from this distance, I'd say you can't really tell if this is a ghost or not. This was filmed at around 2 a.m., so the idea that someone was out walking in the darkness of night is pretty creepy in and of itself. Gary restaurant video was captured in a bar in Singapore late at night. First, a stool falls over, which I guess could just be a string, but their reaction seems realistic as they all question how this could happen. The entire time, none of them realize that they are being watched by the faint outline of a woman who does not move or make a noise. Maybe it's just me, but it almost looks like this woman's feet are off the ground and she is suspended in the air. Num YouTuber Anonymous Web brings us this scary video in what appears to be an abandoned home. A hooded djinn creeps past in the hallway, and he's about to light it up. Did this djinn create the fire, or was he created by it? I think we just witnessed the birth of a djinn. While spending the night in an abandoned boarding house, the unthinkable happened. Published by Toppy in May of 2022, this paranormal crew captured whispers on camera, asking for help. These whispers are quite faint, but they think it sounds like a woman's voice. Shortly after, they hear footsteps at a distance. In a hallway of the boarding house, the team sets up a stationary camera. Apart from several EVPs, it captures this. A rock is kicked with great force down the length of the hall. Do 
do former pupils still call this boarding house home? And what do they want with the living? A YouTuber named Unexpectedly is documenting his exploration of an old military facility. The abandoned building has reportedly since become a setting for an underground cult to perform strange and bizarre rituals, which he wants to learn more about. Daylight does not make this place any less terrifying as he crosses through hallways covered in cult warnings and symbols. Judging from this room and others like it, it seems as though the rumors are true. He stops to investigate a square panel on the floor that matches a hole in the ceiling. It gives him a bad feeling and I wouldn't be surprised if he was being watched closely from this hiding spot. A few minutes later, he's standing in the very middle of the structure and there's a little light here. That's when he hears rustling footsteps nearby. The footsteps cease soon and he finds another hole in the ceiling. It's almost like somebody is using these above ground tunnels as a way to stay one step ahead of him. Everything grows quiet and still once again. For some reason, a far door grabs his attention. You don't get to see them very clearly, but what appears to be a large hooded figure is standing on the other side. Whether this is scripted, paranormal, or a cult is up for you to decide. I am just glad he was near an exit and made it out alive. TikToker Smug Puppy has experienced paranormal activity in her home since 1997. The activity comes in waves, lying dormant for years before spiking. This is one of those spikes. At first, she and her dad are just enjoying their morning. Are you enjoying my dumb kiss, Dad? But then this happens a moment later. I can't believe I've just caught that on camera. The ghost confronts him, knocking the snack right out of his hand. Here it is again. This is the first time the ghost has ever done this to anybody. Some in the comments think the slap sounded off. Others think the ghost doesn't want people eating junk food. I think this looks legit, and if the ghost is starting to physically harm the home's residents, then this ghost needs to be removed from this home. If you don't want poltergeists keeping you up at night, you might want to erase that pentagram on the wall. Published by Seeker of Ghosts in December of 2021, a demon Poltergeist is captured in action in this scary video. The crew enters the apartment to find a red pentagram drawn on one wall with unusual symbology drawn around it. It seems like whoever was here before was welcoming demonic activity with open arms and the demons obliged. In one clip, a doll spins around on its own, sliding very quickly across the floor. Later, a string that's hanging across the room appears to be cut by something invisible. And then, the most shocking evidence, a stool flies across the room, scraping over the floor. Are the demons responding to the pentagram? What are they trying to tell these ghost hunters? I think the best decision is to get the heck out of there. Derek Desso Daly finds himself in a darkened cemetery on a 24-hour challenge with some friends. There's only some basic snacks and a small flashlight to split between the three of them, but they feel confident nothing serious will happen. Derek barely gets into the cemetery, and already he hears strange sounds that I don't think can easily be faked. I know that I don't see anything past this room. What was that sound? Hey man, there's somebody walking right there, bro. Where? Derek claims to see someone off in the distance, though I personally don't see anything. Still, he turns off his flashlight and quietly walks away to avoid detection. Other than that, nothing else happens until around 3 a.m., at which point the strange sounds return, even louder this time. Board, yeah. yeah, we have a Ouija board and we have a. Uh, oh, oh, 
They start playing with the homemade Ouija board and think they see something move in the trees. Then they think they hear footsteps. It's hard to say if they are just being paranoid or really experiencing something paranormal since nothing special is caught on camera. Later though, when they begin chanting a spell to speak with any nearby spirits, I can definitely hear what they are talking about. Eventually, one of them gets separated from the group and is covered in red when he returns. He claims to have fallen, but something about his story sounds off. Ah, what happened? Something fell. Something falling on its own seems quite unlikely, making the claim of paranormal activity even more plausible. There's nothing more haunted than something that moves of its own accord, except maybe when it jolts aggressively of its own accord. Submitted to Reddit by Nick4566, this swing in India is not child's play. Nick writes, this was seen in a well-known city of India. The park is closed since a year as a lady took her own life here long back, and the park is not used by children. Watch the swing at the beginning of the clip flinging back and forth on its own. It's a bit unnerving already, but as some in the comments point out, someone might have pushed it before the person began filming. You probably thought that yourself, but watch further. The swing slows halfway through the video only to suddenly jolt back to life. <laughs> Flinging aggressively back and forth, the leaves in the surrounding trees are barely fluttering, so none of this could be due to wind or nature. It's completely supernatural. Could the spirit of the woman who took her life still be here? And why is she swinging? We may never know. Posted to the r slash chills narrator subreddit, Nick Chocolate 19 posted two videos from the same night on a doorbell cam. The redditor writes, On January 10th, 2022, at approximately 9 p.m. that night, my family noticed something weird on the doorbell camera. The orb-like item kept coming into view and setting off the security alerts all night long. Any idea what this could have been? An orb can be seen floating on the right hand side, and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere. The Redditor posted a second video writing, I posted a video yesterday about an orb on my doorbell cam. I'm posting another video because I want to show it couldn't be something like a helicopter. This is from 6.08am. It did this all night from 9pm. The fact that the orb was visible all night makes it less likely that it's just a camera glitch in my opinion. What do you think this is? Yes, poltergeists can be powerful, but this one is like its own microburst. Published by Find Ghost in August of 2021, this haunting footage was originally captured on a security camera in April of 2009, just after midnight. The footage shows an empty room with chairs stacked along one side. One one chair is overturned in the middle of the room like it was flung there, and after seeing what happens next, perhaps it was, an object falls off a table, one of the stacked chairs wobbles back and forth, then all of a sudden all the chairs burst, as if flung forward simultaneously. A moment later another invisible burst in the room sends all the objects flying momentarily into the air. In the last split second everything flies sky high again. What is happening in this haunted room, and what will happen next? A family in the Bahamas recorded the horrors they endured. Posted to Twitter by Gilbert NMO Morris, he writes, It has been 14 hours now with Dorian in Freeport, Bahamas, and this is the roof of a home there. Take notice of the wind and rush of the waves. This family was already on the top floor of the house. Can you imagine holding steadfast in the roof of your home moments away from being swallowed by the sea? The event is reportedly one of the worst on record to hit the islands. 
The Bahamas will take years to recover from this. Around 300 homes were completely destroyed. No doubt the home shown in this video was one of them. Something is haunting the lobby of England's Brighton Museum, according to those who work there. This creepy moment caught on CCTV video at 3 a.m. could be the paranormal proof they need to be taken seriously. The camera captures a bright light and then a souvenir mysteriously falls to the ground with no one near. Kind of like a ghost move the object employees would later say. I think the quote unquote mysterious light could be a glass object reflecting light as it falls over. Maybe the shelf is a little unlevel. Maybe an employee or a visitor put it too close to the edge. I am 50-50 on this one and we'll be sure to keep an eye out for other paranormal events caught on camera at this possibly haunted museum. If you saw someone in a window just standing and staring, what would you think? Would you consider it abnormal? Would you be concerned about their mental state? These Lithuanians saw this strange staring man as cause for concern when they posted this video to their YouTube channel. Reposted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Martillo, the Redditor writes, Couple of Lithuanian YouTubers are driving with other couple friends around the city and they come across this strange guy in his apartment. They're saying that he maybe is possessed. The windows in the building across from the Lithuanian's car are all darkened. Apart from one brightly lit window on the second floor, there stands a man appearing to stare out into the night, oddly still. Upon closer inspection, the man looks like he's rolling his head around before turning to the side and staring off again. He stares forward for a time, this having gone on for a solid minute, before turning around and switching off the light in his apartment likely because he notices the men outside are shining their light up at his window, watching him. Martillo notes that although the men in the video are laughing, the image of someone staring out their window blankly is somewhat scary. He says the behavior is strange. Well, that may be so, you could argue the same for the behavior of the occupants of this car. Miss ROCIO4441 published this haunting video in June of 2011, alleging a ghost at the local McDonald's who appeared there at night between 2.30 and 2.50 a.m. In the video, you can certainly see what appears to be a shadow floating around the restaurant. According to the YouTuber, the security camera only turns on when it captures movement. One person in the comments claims to work at this very McDonald's. Ya boy dad 916 said, I work night shifts in this store and I get the creeps all the time. Viewers disputed this video as well though, while some saying it could be a bug on the lens. I don't know though, but watching the shadow move around this footage certainly gives me the creeps. Could it be a past customer or McDonald's employee who passed away at this restaurant? I guess we'll never know. What you don't know can't panic you, right? Posted to Reddit, the uploader, Jason Green 3 explains in the comments, on April 25th, 2013, at about 9.20 p.m. local time, an unknown object at low altitude flew directly across the Rafael Hernandez Airport runway in Aguadilla, Puerto Rico, causing a delayed departure of a commercial aircraft. Green continues on, explaining that this infrared video on the thermal imaging systems of the CPB DHC-8 aircraft was captured by U.S. authorities. This video is reportedly obtained legitimately by an anonymous source. According to their information, the object, between 3 to 5 feet wide, was flying around various speeds between 40 and 120 miles per hour with an 80 mile per hour median speed. When it entered the water, its speed did not slow down or demonstrate obvious impact, traveling at a similar average speed as it had in the air. Upon entering the ocean, the object spilt, re-emerged for an instant, and then both pieces traveled at the same speed. The Redditor writes that there's no known origin for this object and no clue as to what might travel at these speeds through air and water. At least one Redditor suggests it's a weather balloon, while most others accept that this is an unidentified flying device. What do you think this could be? And are you panicked? Fearless Fox X has his bravery put to the test when a creepy stranger returns to his house for a second time in one night. Listen for the scary voice in the background. Just looking at it and she was like talking for herself. 
and she was there for like at least 10 minutes and then she went to my she went to my brother's car and she's just saying all kinds of crazy stuff and talking to herself camera in hand he creeps up on the stranger to see what else can be caught on video for all to see wow this she's creeping me out dude she's like shaking her head around and moving her arms like she's being possessed the closer he gets, the quieter the stranger becomes. The darkness grows still, tense, and he dares not turn on his light. I'm scared. Good eye, proud eye, proud eye. What the fuck? He makes a bold assumption that this person is completely clueless about where he is, but the mysterious figure is more self-aware than any of us could have ever imagined. She has no idea I'm right behind her. <laughs> he decides to go home quick, and we never get a closer look at the mysterious figure in the darkness. A landlord named Jill Prevost is in the basement of a rental property when she sees a furious house cat guarding the top of the steps. The angry, hissing animal descends upon her within seconds. Watch this part and you'll see the cat attack her purse with all of its might. Jill simply holds it in front of her for protection, otherwise the rampaging animal could have easily been climbing up her leg. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! There is nowhere to run except past the cat up the stairs. Once upstairs, she immediately grabs a broom and remains stuck in the house until the owner comes back. Get away. This cat just attacked me. This video is definitely bizarre until you realize cats instinctively go for areas that cause the most damage, like the face or throat. Though it may be a domestic house cat, it is nonetheless protecting its territory with everything it's got. So who knows what would have happened if the owner had not come to Jill's rescue in time. The Franklin County Old Jail, which was established in 1818, is widely known for being extremely haunted and usually, it seems that whoever dares to enter finds themselves getting more than they bargained for. A YouTube channel named Paranormal Purgatory decided to venture down into the jail themselves to have a look around the place. The jail is eerily decrepit and worn down, something you'd expect from a 200-year-old building, but just because it's worn down doesn't mean that the place remains uninhabited. Look at that. Can you see the old rocking horse in there? No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? I heard that too. There's a whistle. So next to the bed here, I do kind of see what they're talking about here. If you just focus on the bed, there appears to be just kind of this shadow and then it almost seems to take off to the right here. Old rocking horse in there? No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. No, what I see. Go in there. Did you hear that? All oh, right there, okay, I, I now see exactly what they're talking about. So there's gonna be a flash of light. So it looks like it's like a head and kind of a torso and there's that flash of light and then it looks like it just sort of pops right up. It happens so quickly. I should play this in slow motion. Right here, don't you see that? And then it just pops right up just in the, the split second that it's shown in the light. Even though the crew behind the channel had only just started to look around the jail, little did they know that they didn't need to look any further for signs of paranormal life, as you can make out what appears to be some sort of shadow figure right next to the bed, which vanishes just as quick as it appears. During the rest of the video, the crew explores the remaining areas of the jail, but are ultimately unable to find any other signs of paranormal activity, even still though, seeing this shadow figure in person during an investigation would be enough to terrify anybody. This woman looks like she's stretching at first, but soon you realize that something's off. Posted to TikTok by Delsry Octave, the woman is bracing herself against a door frame. 
It seems like she's stretching her legs. Then while chanting, she tries to enter the room. One leg drags uselessly behind her. As she moves forward, she retrieves a few items before the outstretched leg is dragged from beneath her. She is dragged down completely from the room. What's happening here? Is she possessed? Most in the comments think so. What do you think is going on here? A YouTuber named Yuya makes a video about microwavable desserts, but it accidentally turns into a creepy doll video instead. The doll is caught moving on camera at 7 minutes and 14 seconds. Los armo con el alma the doll moves its arms by itself at the end of the video for no reason at all. It has nothing to do with the topic of the video, and everyone is pointing out how weird it was. I don't think she was doing this for views, because if so then it would most likely happen in the very beginning. Besides that, with over 20 million subscribers, Yuya is already a successful YouTuber and wouldn't need to do something like this for attention anyway. It never happens again, and hasn't happened since as far as I know. But if any other creepy doll videos end up on her channel, which I have a feeling they will, then I will be sure to give them a full analysis. This strange creature sighting while exploring an abandoned house deserves more attention and a closer analysis. An urban explorer is walking down the hallway when they see a small black object move in response to being caught on camera. It looks like an unknown creature at first. I can make out the reflective surface of what could be an eye, but it kind of looks like somebody is moving like a stuffed animal or something. Most people in the comments are saying that strange creatures are known to hide in abandoned buildings and believe this video is real. Only a very small amount of people seem to think this is flat out fake, so I was wondering what you think of this video. I think it could be real, but I'd be more willing to believe that this is a kid's doll moving on its own, which is just as creepy as a real creature sighting would be, if not creepier. This video was posted on my subreddit by someone in Palo Alto, California. For well over a minute, these large lights jump all around the sky, changing directions seemingly at random without logic or reason. After a while, the mysterious lights slowly lower to the ground, almost as if landing somewhere unseen. Yo, what is that? Oh my gosh. They're like moving around. Look at that. What is that? This landing maneuver strongly suggests that this is some kind of controlled aircraft, though exactly what it's being controlled by is anyone's guess. The person who posted this video claims to be a pilot and has absolutely no idea what this could be. I thought this could be an experiment with flares, but they say military flares are much smaller and move differently. Whatever it was, I would be particularly worried because, according to his estimations, the strange lights apparently landed about 20 miles from his house. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by KaneSweet2000, this redditor wrote, Hi all, we moved into a council house since January, and we had some very strange things happening. We have a vintage radio and it has been making some strange noises. The weird thing is there isn't any batteries inside it. Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Fish. There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Lechif Lada wrote, That's really strange. Well, GameCat UK wrote, Where is the radio in the video? Do you have a picture? I have a feeling it's a rare example of an old semiconductor picking up on local radio waves, though the amplification is baffling. I think the radio is that thing in the bottom left corner at the 5 second mark. Which side are you on here? Let me know in the comments. During a mid-morning flight from Canada over the Appalachian Mountains in October of 2010, this passenger captured something mysterious from the air. Watch carefully. K 
Can you see the reflections of light in the clouds? There also appears to be a disc-like shape that emerges from the clouds at the lower half of the screen. Watch again closely. Is this a genuine, unidentified flying object caught on camera? If not, what do you think this could possibly be? A student is doing some schoolwork on his computer. When somebody comes in and starts recording, they have a short conversation that's interrupted by a large figure standing in the darkened doorway behind them. The creature's head almost touches the ceiling, and its arms are so gigantic and long that they don't even fully fit in the camera frame. Its arms look long enough to pluck them from the couch and drag them to their doom. Fortunately for them, the two friends get away just in time and take off. They glance back for a moment only to find Slenderman silently regarding them from the top of the stairs. Now that you've seen this on video, I'm eager to hear if you think this was a real Slenderman sighting or just someone in a really good costume. A young woman was walking home late at night when she was met with a worst case scenario. Someone was following her. Posted to TikTok by Carolina Judah, the TikToker captures a montage of her journey from the foggy streets to the bus to a dark walk on her road home. A man is seen standing behind the bus stop. He is nothing but a shadow. She says she ignored him and just continued walking. Capturing a shot between her though, she finds that he's trailing her about 20 feet away. As the journey continues, he seems to be speeding up, and in fact, he gets closer. He appears to be wearing a hood. Carolina says he began shouting something at her, and she thought he'd been drinking. He falls behind a ways, and as soon as she rounds a bend, she sprints home. Although she couldn't see him anywhere when she arrived, 20 minutes later she heard the doorbell at the gate. She called her mom but there was no answer, and outside her window she spotted the man standing just outside the gate. The man later jumped the gate, crossed the garden, and tried yanking on the door handle. Carolina locked herself inside the bathroom waiting for her parents to arrive. He eventually stopped but she stayed put, too afraid to move. In the video's comments, TikTokers suggest not to walk home when you're being followed, but rather lead the stalker to someplace with people and or bright lights. This route looked like it had neither, so what should she do in this case? Any suggestions? A YouTuber named Roy Flores has a strange encounter over the skies of New Jersey when he sees a mysterious aircraft hovering near the overpass he's driving on. Look, the whole street is stopped. There's a flying spaceship. And he's not the only one who sees it. Dozens of other cars have pulled over and people are getting out to take video of this strange phenomenon with their cameras, each wondering if this is the moment we finally made contact. A Goodyear blimp is the official explanation for this scary event, but I have serious doubts. I mean, you'd think all these people would know the difference between a blimp, which we've all seen, and something truly bizarre instead. A lot of people are saying this is a cover story for the strange sighting in the sky. Well, I think this design looks way too creepy to be some kind of company blimp. At first, Redditor Don Grager believes this sound was in her imagination, but then she recorded it. Listen closely. It sounds like a strangled scream. Some in the comments think it's just air escaping a container of some kind. Others think it's a trapped animal. I wouldn't rule out a portal to the fiery depths below, but those two theories also seem likely. This sound is for sure something you don't want to be imagining. Wow, 
wild animals can be incredibly dangerous. Even animals that look as slow and non-menacing as moose are. YouTuber Azeroth6390 discovered that in June of 2007 when he published this video writing, my dad and my grandfather were trying to chase a moose into the forest because it was in a village scaring people. What happened next? Well, see for yourself. The moose is wandering in the forest and you can see a man and his dog head towards it. The shot cuts to three moose running along next to a home, presumably being chased off by someone, while a dog nearby the man filming starts barking. That's when one of the moose has had enough. He clambers through the trees towards the dog and the man filming. The man lets out a crazy bellow, so the moose thinks better of it. Also, he seems to be having a tough time getting through the thick bramble. The moose retreats, and the man filming says, She tried to get us in his native language. Moose can be very dangerous in terms of behavior. They're not as aggressive as bears, but their population size means you are more likely to be injured by one than you are by any bear. According to How Stuff Works in Alaska alone, moose outnumber bears nearly 3 to 1, wounding around 5 to 10 people in the state annually. That's more than grizzly bear and black bear attacks combined. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to feel the power of the weight behind those antlers. If your house was haunted, would you stay or would you sell it for $100? Abdul Karim published this haunting video claiming that the house's owner is trying to sell the house for exactly that, but there is yet to be a willing buyer. From the get-go, it's clear something is in the house. As the video begins, a loud bang is heard on the top floor. Allahu Akbar! Allahu the man taking the video cries out as he climbs the stairs, walking toward the room from where the sounds are coming. As he does, the shattering of glass is heard downstairs. It seems there is more than one ghoul haunting the place, or maybe just a very energetic one, moving all the way over the home. He leaves the downstairs ghost to himself for a moment and continues forward, entering the haunted room. After walking in, it appears as though nothing and no one is there, but the door slams behind him. He rushes over and swings it open, but it slams aggressively closed again. Breathing heavily, he races out of the room. The door slams three times, over and over behind him. Finally, it slams closed for good and appears to be shut. The man, getting a second wind of courage, goes and kicks it open. He walks in the room, scanning the premises. Again, there is nothing to be found, but yet another door inside the room begins to slam shut as well. It does so repeatedly. The man walks towards it and around it. Nothing is there. No one is kicking it or causing all of this mayhem. It could only be the paranormal. As he enters another room, leading to a large outdoor balcony, something slams into the hanging overhead light, glass shattering, and the light swings back and forth. The video ends here. After watching it, there's little wonder no one is willing to pay even $100 to purchase this home. Who wants to live with all that racket? I certainly wouldn't. While wandering through a graveyard in the darkness of night, this pair of daredevils met with the other side. Watch this clip closely. Did you see that? Something whipped through the air. Watch to the left of the flashlight beam. The YouTuber says that he and his friend were the only ones in the graveyard at the time. No one was smoking, there was no fog or wind, and at the time he was unaware of the figure. He only saw it when he rewatched the footage later. 
It looks to me like he could have caught a real apparition, sweeping into the afterlife. To me, it gives credence to the idea that cemeteries are really train stations for the spirits, as some paranormal experts suggest. T.T. Mando posted this video in 2008 of his ninja cat chasing a ghost around the living room. In the description, he writes, I have never really been a believer in ghosts, but my wife and I have two cats that used to always go nuts seeing things that we could not see. They would howl at the lights in our dining room and chase things around that were not there. It was really weird, so my one cat starts going nutty one night like he is seeing something. So I decided to try and shoot some footage thinking maybe I can see what they are seeing through a camera. The video begins with the cat watching something floating in the air attentively. What is he staring at? While shooting the footage, the YouTuber switched between regular and night vision mode, which is when the ninja cat started climbing the walls. Literally. You can see that the cat has managed to climb to the top of a dresser and is looking up into the corner of the room. Whatever the cat has its eyes on must be moving all over the place because her gaze darts here and there. The cat then jumps down from its spot on the dresser to a scratching post. And then, as its eyes follow the invisible, it jumps up the wall and lands on the floor. It tries again, jumping up the door and managing to get its claws into the door frame. It looks up into the corner of the ceiling, its head still darting around. The cat hangs there for nearly an entire minute, seemingly enraptured by the ghost or spirit in its sights. Seriously, do you see anything there? Because I sure do. According to the YouTuber, a dot of light moved through the TV once he got his cat down from the door. The YouTuber points out the light that moves from the back to the front of the room. If you watch the video closely, you can see it too. The experience was, apparently, traumatic for this cat owner, who now sleeps with the covers over his head. A Reddit user named Necromimi posted this CCTV of a ghost captured at her friend's home. A translucent figure walks back and forth from one side of the room to the other multiple times, often fading from sight about midway across and reappearing a few feet away. After a while, it becomes slower and moves in place, eventually fading away into an orb that floats up towards the camera and disappears. The remarkable timing of this event rules out any possibility of a glitch, which makes me suspect that this was either some clever editing or truly paranormal. This is a witch's abode, and even in the afterlife she has not left, Dennis from YouTube channel Dark Life is paying the haunted house a visit in this scary video. While taking some photographs in this room, he sees something in the mirror that gives him pause. He explains what he saw. Это мне реально сейчас не показалось. В зеркале в том проходе кто-то стоял вот там. This is what he actually captured on camera. While it does appear to be the profile of a person, it could also simply be shadows falling in a perturbing manner. But later, this happens. What do you see here? Again, I feel like this could just be pareidolia. The way the light and shadows fall is conjuring up images that aren't really there. Or are they? 
It does look like a shadow is reaching out to touch Dennis at this point. Bell Tower Bat lives in a haunted hotel that's built upon a series of tunnels that are haunted as well. So she decides to go ghost hunting with the TikTok app and see what reality Ripple shows her. The first thing she notices are a couple antique bottles that seem to have a ghost attached to them. It's an all black aura that is far different from the psychedelic colors that are usually displayed. Now it's time to leave her room and see what else her ghost hunting app has to show her. She doesn't see anything for the rest of the video until she gets to the very last haunted hallway. <laughs> A ghostly shadow figure looks at her down the hall and sends her the other way. The reality ripple is still on, so if this was a living person, it should be an orange or purple color. Instead, the shadow person is devoid of color, so either this video was edited, or else it's a real ghost sighting on TikTok. Reet's boy records what he thinks is a rare creature sighting, and while I think he might be right, I would like your help to confirm. Some of the dogs in his neighborhood are going crazy, so he zooms in on where they're barking and just barely makes out this figure possibly watching from afar. At 38 seconds, you get a much better look when he zooms in. Bro, do you see? It's hard to tell for sure, but I think something is definitely there, and it kind of looks like the upper half of a shadow person. Fear suddenly overcomes Reet's boy, and he runs back inside before it gets any closer. Definitely the smart choice. A YouTuber named Nick makes it clear from the beginning that he does not believe in Bloody Mary in the slightest. He turns the lights off, and then three times in a row he sarcastically says, Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. <laughs> See guys, like I said. Before he has a chance to finish his sentence, the figure touches him and he falls to the floor. If this was real, exactly how this video was recorded or uploaded remains a mystery, as it looks like Nick might not have pulled through. When things go haywire in your own home, it's easy to jump to a paranormal conclusion. Especially when there appears to be poltergeist activity. Posted to YouTube in January of 2012, the uploader explains, This is real footage taken at my house. As you can see the way the bottle moves, this is inhuman and impossible for a human to make a bottle move and gesture in these motions. This is totally real and scary. So if you are faint of heart, do not watch this please. This is video of real paranormal activity. <laughs> In the video, the men enter the kitchen, where a bottle on the floor appears to be rolling around of its own accord. After they enter the room, it stops for a moment before spinning around again. It twirls on its side and then stands straight up on its base. One brave man picks it up and puts it on the kitchen counter, which is where the clip ends. YouTuber MRLWAP2 in the comments suggests there's helium in the plastic bottle, but most people are more alarmed by the zebra pattern cupboards than the so-called ghost. Jenny Chanel writes that zebra print would make even a plastic bottle want to escape a room. So is this a supernatural case or simply a case of terrible interior design? Only that soda bottle knows. Don't let her in. Published in November of 2021 by Taja Fact. This CCTV footage is chilling. Two women are at work in a computer lab. When one of them leaves, after a moment the sliding door slams shut, scaring the young woman who is left alone. Alarmed, she turns in her seat towards the door but later returns to her work. Shortly after, the lights start flickering on and off in the hallway, and a creepy figure is standing in the doorway. It looks like a young woman in white, with her dark hair hanging over her face. When the woman is finally alerted to the figure's presence. She slowly gets up to go look, although we're left to wonder what happens next. Maybe we shouldn't find out. Thomas Hayes has been hearing scary loud sounds lately. Strange scratching noises coming from inside of the wall, right next to where he sleeps at night. Anxiety mixes with fear as he dismantles the electric socket to investigate what's gone wrong behind the walls. And let me tell you, the source of the scary sounds is beyond creepy. Oh! <gasps>
He tries not to scream as he finds the wall is filled with an endless number of fried insects roaches to be exact, and look at 30 seconds he absentmindedly flicks one off with his finger. That's not exactly the reaction I was expecting, and certainly not what I would have done, but I guess he was shocked at the time. Speaking of, I can't help but wonder how safe it is to prod around an electrical socket with a screwdriver in the first place. I know he probably turned the power off, but I feel like it could still hold a charge. Someone tell me in the comments. There's something lurking around this haunted place, shared by TikToker The King Horror. The kid who saw it with his own eyes cried in fear. <laughs> After racing far away from the place, they turn back, and then they see this. <laughs> this hooded figure is something nightmares are made of, and he's the perfect villain for bedtime. The state line bridge connects Virginia to North Carolina, but locals call it Satan's Bridge due to the large amount of ritual activity going on under there. A YouTuber named Scary Weather made a documentary about it almost 20 years ago, and recently came across the footage again. The first half of the video shows nothing but animal bodies littering the ground, which I can't show here. He then comes back the next day and videotapes all of the weird graffiti and other ritualistic scenes, like these five rocks for example. If you happen to know what this symbol means, or what enchantments were being cast here, then please share what you know, and also tell me what the white paint means here, because I honestly can't even begin to guess. Um, oh, so you see here uh, five stones uh, with a white mark in them. This part of the bridge looks like it could be some sort of altar. There's a huge dark red stain on the ground that trails off into tiny blotches. Something tells me that's probably not paint, but let me know what you think. There's one last fact about this location that I have to tell you. Now, I'm not a numerical conspiracy theorist by any means, but the identification number of this state bridge happens to be 6906. If you take out the zero and flip the middle six, you get three sixes in a row. This video follows a Filipino ghost hunter who's exploring an abandoned hospital solo. At around four minutes in, as he's climbing some stairs, he hears high-pitched shouting. The Redditor who submitted this suggests its scream is that of either a child or a woman. The ghost hunter proceeds to explore the entire floor. All the while, you can hear the screeching in the background. As he nears one end of the floor, traffic is heard roaring out the window. Once silence has fallen again, the screaming can be distantly heard, and then at 7.15 very clearly and nearer. The sound is terrifying, but we never find the source. What do you think it could be? My best guess is something paranormal. <laughs> This slow motion video captures a man peeling around a corner as fast as he can, and soon you see exactly what has him moving so fast. A gigantic cheetah literally bounces off the wall in pursuit. The video ends before we exactly get to see what happens next. Maybe this cheetah really did come in straight from the jungle, or maybe it was kept as a household pet until one day it simply snapped. 
Whatever the case may be, I doubt it ended well for the person running away. Then again, I have no idea why he would just happen to have a camera set up to catch this event perfectly, so maybe it was scripted after all. Let me know what you think is going on here, and also tell me if you have any more background information that can help us put this video in better context. Al Capone has long held an obsession with exploring the scariest, most haunted places he can find. One of his creepiest videos ever has to be the time he went investigating a local cemetery at 3 a.m. God, I'm freaked out. Oh. Can you do that again or maybe move that light switch? Turn on that light for me? The ghost does not turn off the lights, but what he accidentally caught on camera next convinced his subscribers and freaked them out. A ghostly figure appears beyond the stairs. He stares back to where it was, like he senses something so I think this paranormal sighting might be real. No random person would be at the cemetery at 3am. It could be a maintenance worker, which would explain why the closet door was open earlier. But that doesn't explain the strange noise coming from within the room, or why his light flickered when he heard it. Two months later, he takes a 15-minute hike through the woods to go exploring what he calls one of the most haunted places in the world, the Blair Witch House. We weren't here previously to us documenting this place. What's that? Hello? Is anybody in this home? I'm just making a video. Myself. And I don't get really good phone reception, so if something was to happen to me, I just hate this place. <sighs> Yo, this place is so scary. I heard something in the kitchen. This place makes my anxiety run so high. I don't know if you remember me. I'm sure you do. I've done so many investigations here and I've caught you on camera many times. What the f What was that? The spirit takes him in circles, toying with him and his rising fear. I'm starting to feel like I'm hallucinating a little bit. Somebody back there. I'm not playing if someone's back there. Oh my I hate this house. I 
I'm not messing around. I want you to reveal yourself. It's happening again, dude. I hate this house, bro. They need to tear this place down. Oh! Huh. Oh. Yo, I'm closing this door. Yo. No. In the name of Jesus! Oh, there's a bat in the name of Jesus! There's a bat right there. Oh! He's freaking out and cornered when a bat flies under the door. It's seriously creepy and I don't know how this can be faked unless he somehow has a pet bat on hand, which I doubt. When he opens the door, no one's there. This investigation's a little too paranormal for his own good. Time to bail. My final analysis of both these ghost videos is that they are probably real. The first one might have been a cemetery groundskeeper, but it might have been a ghost and either way I don't think it was planned at all. The Blair Witch House video could have been a second person off camera, except for that bat under the door. Also, the Blair Witch House has been investigated by multiple channels, and the paranormal activity is fairly consistent, so I don't think he was faking any of it. Freaky, right? This grainy video, taken in a dark room just outside of the kitchen, shows a children's toy suddenly glide forward on its own without warning. The quality of the video is not very good, but then again it was taken in 2010 and seems about right for camera phones of that time. As for why the camera was set up in that spot to begin with, I'm not sure. Maybe they have been experiencing paranormal activity in this area of the house and wanted to record it for proof. Either way, there's still enough light spilling in from the kitchen to show a string on the ground if there was one. I can't see one and therefore I think there is a strong possibility that this video could be absolutely real. A series of unfortunate events leads us to no answers in this video. The security footage was taken in September of 2015 at around 1 in the morning. The footage appears to be taken outside a shop after some heavy rain. Two men are standing outside, one on the pavement, one at the door. After a moment, something grabs the man standing on the pavement. Water is splashing around like the incident is happening in a puddle. The man falls to the ground and the other man near the door attempts to come to his aid, grabbing his arms. He is pushed back though and runs off toward the door to get help. The man continues to fend off the invisible force before being dragged out of sight. The man returns from inside, looking as though he's on the phone. He searches around for the man and walks toward the water. Then a large figure comes flying at him. It's not clear if it's the man returning to safety or something else. In slow motion, it looks like it's crawling on all fours. It chases the man inside, knocking the door on the way in. A moment later, a mysterious figure in a black cloak exits the building. What is happening here? Who grabbed that man? What gave Chase into the building? And who is this cloaked figure? Unfortunately, we are left with no answers, only questions. Imagine playing hide and seek with a mysterious cult, published by Lego Papa TV in March of 2020. This scary video shows a cultish encounter at a house where lives were taken. Lego arrives at the house that he plans to explore on this fateful night. It looks 100% haunted. He tours the house, arriving at a bathroom in which he says the 71-year-old woman who lived here would take the lives of her victims. He says she buried them in her backyard. As he's about to head upstairs, he hears something, but he assumes it was just animals. Once he gets up there, though, he hears more noise. Hello?
while using the spirit box on his phone to try and communicate with the passed away in the bathroom. He sees a flashlight beam hit the wall. When he turns around, he sees many beams of light, and he thinks it could be police, other urban explorers, or maybe something even more nefarious. So he rushes upstairs and hides in another bathroom. Shortly after, he sees flashlight beams on the wall and hears footsteps. They apparently don't see him. After waiting in the darkness for a time, he sneaks downstairs, and while in the basement, he hears more evidence that he's not alone in the house. Footsteps sound on the floor above. He gets out of there as quickly as possible and does manage to escape. When finally safely outside, he turns back to look at the house. They are looking for him, whoever they are. Lego writes, This is probably the scariest moment of my life. I have no doubt about that. 20 years ago, this hospital was abandoned. Now urban explorer Luan Mendez is ready to investigate the hospital to see if it's haunted. He's exploring the hospital in search of the scariest place he can think of, the morgue, because that's where a ghost is most likely to be caught on camera. The only problem is he and his team aren't exactly sure where it is, and soon they get twisted up in a maze of hospital hallways. The ghost of a nurse is said to roam these halls. They don't see anyone, and yet every room they pass leaves them feeling more watched, more creeped out. <laughs> A figure sprints past without making a sound, and I think this is a real ghost sighting because the ghost hunters are walking, and you can hear their footsteps loud and clear. Meanwhile, the apparition is running full speed, but there are no footsteps, which shouldn't be possible. Listen again. <laughs> They investigate the floor and find no footprints. Someone, perhaps a ghost, was just running down the hall. But the dust is undisturbed. Further evidence that this was a real ghost in the hospital hallway. They're scared, but they keep exploring the abandoned building, eventually coming across some more weird things in the nursery area. Creepy stuff like this picture of a child on a rope that scares them. Creepy stuff like a rotten offering of some sort, stuck against the wall in what appears to be a bizarre ritual. On the ground, they see two small red dots and begin following the splatter pattern. And what they found at the end still haunts the ghost hunters to this day. <laughs> Something swings upside down, and if you look directly behind them, you'll see it's in the same creepy room that they just showed on camera. So where could this thing have been hiding? And when they gather enough courage to check a second time, nothing is there. A YouTuber named Barbecue Thunder 7 watches in awe as huge chunks of hail fall from the sky, landing with the force of solid rock. When it finally starts to calm down, he summons his courage and steps outside for a closer look. Hail is still falling periodically at this point and could get him at any moment. Some of them landed with such impact that now they are buried deep into the ground. And if you have any doubt as to how much danger he was in, these are the holes in his roof from the bad weather. If it can do this to a roof, imagine what it could do to his head. A group of ghost hunters are exploring a notoriously haunted retirement home in Ohio at 1 a.m. when they manage to find something strange and unsettling. Under the bathroom. Here it is again at half speed. One of the ghost hunters barely manages to catch this fleeting shadow while turning around. The room to the right is completely empty and nobody is inside, plus everybody else is in a different section of the house. It doesn't look like the camera is simply adjusting to different lighting conditions, so there really is absolutely no reason for a shadow to be on the right side of the screen like that. To me, it looks like something is possibly making a quick escape. We've seen plenty of poltergeists on top 15s, but this one is particularly aggressive. Posted to very spooky videos, a major malfunction writes, person captures saucer levitating as poltergeist takes over a room. 
The video begins in complete chaos as the light from an overhanging fan flashes on and off while the fan is going, then on the wall, a picture in its frame starts to bang. A moment later, a cup levitates off the table, flings up into the air, and then falls to the floor. The man taking the video gets the heck out of there. That's right. Put as many miles as you can between you and that poltergeist. Seems like Mad Max. Isaac Brew make him feels a bite on his line and pulls up something larger than he ever imagined. It looks like he hooked the shark, but when you watch it again, you'll see the shark was actually going after a much smaller fish. Isaac quickly unhooks and releases the fish before the shark has the chance for a second go. Isaac is so incredibly lucky that the line was behind him and not close to the kayak. Otherwise, this shark could have practically landed in his lap. A small town west of Moscow called Mozhysk has an eerie, supposedly real ghost sighting caught by a tourist while admiring the architecture of a capital building. A Russian paranormal group says that this could be the spirit of a monk who was once forbidden by a prince to leave the town. Perhaps it's real, or maybe after researching this story, the group decided to stage this video and pretend it was submitted to them randomly. There's no way to tell for certain. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.